does it work? So I'm going to take a minute here and show you. Let's see here. So here's kind of my first page. I really like using it in landscape mode like this because I just think you get a better uh, better layout of ML Exchange. So here's my Procket Cloud Pro app. It opens up. Here's my Real Mobile o Pros connection. Just push connect. And it logs me into this screen. So here across the bottom, let's start out and go th quickly through this menu. You have all these different uh, menu items here. Let's go through one by one. This one makes that little menu bar disappear. So if you're using your screen, you're showing something to your clients, you can do that. The other thing is you can actually, let me pop that back up. You can actually kind of pinch on here. Like I want my screen to be bigger, so I'm going to pinch in. I'm going to make my, my ML exchange a little bit bigger, but now do you see it's kind of goofy? That brings us to the next button, which is these two, a rectangle inside of a rectangle. It just helps set your screen up a little bit better. Then you have the right mouse button. You can click on that, and then that gives you the, the right mouse button menu that, that would normally be there if you're using a regular mouse. Here's the keyboard button. That's the one I use the most. Pop that open and uh, type some information here. And then you'll use this button to get rid of it. Uh, there's that. I'm not sure what that did, but get rid of that. This is some more mouse functions. Um, I, don't, I personally don't use that very much. Um, I think it helps you point to certain areas. There's the that little arrow indicates that that's what your mouse would be clicking on. There's some more functions there. Looks like it pops up your keyboard maybe. And so I'm, I don't use this very much. And then this little one in the corner looks like a little nuclear reactor logo. I actually use that one all the time to disconnect. So when I'm done, I can disconnect. And I'm going to reconnect back in here. Looks like I have something there on my screen. And it says here, uh, desktop snapshot. So you can take a photo uh, in your photo album and save that. Let's see, we'll go here to my photos. And you can see there that that last picture I have is a, is a screenshot. So that works out pretty nice.